This educational video is brought to you by www.drowad.com. PRK or laser surface ablation. PRK or laser surface ablation is a procedure which corrects visual errors by applying a laser controlled by a computer on the surface of the cornea without performing a corneal flap or any cut. The laser reshapes the surface of the cornea to make it more curved or less curved depending on the type of visual error of the individual being treated. An extended wear bandage contact lens is then applied on the cornea to promote healing and provide comfort. The outer skin of the cornea will regenerate, protected by the contact lens, within three to four days, after which the contact lens is removed. The reshaped cornea focuses light more accurately on the retina. Before PRK or laser surface ablation, in preparation for surgery, whether PRK or trans-PRK, contact lenses should be removed at least three days before the procedure and sometimes up to one to two weeks, depending on your doctor's recommendation. Also, avoid wearing eye makeup starting the day before the procedure. During laser surface ablation. During the laser surface ablation procedure, you will be lying down at all times and looking up at the laser system positioned above your face. Anesthetic drops will be used to numb your eyes and make you totally comfortable throughout the procedure. A small device will be inserted between your eyelids to prevent you from closing your eye. You will be asked to look at a blinking light. When it's time for the eczema laser to work, you will be notified and you will be asked to look at the blinking light at all times. Rest assured, the laser will follow your eye in case it moves and will completely stop if your eye moves far out. Once you look at the light again, the laser will continue exactly where it left off. Looking at the light, however, will ensure uninterrupted, smoother treatment. The whole procedure will take around five minutes per eye. After laser surface ablation. After laser surface ablation, you will experience blurry vision as well as episodic light sensitivity, burning and tearing for up to three days. You should be able to drive and resume active computer work within five to seven days. However, near and far vision will be much more comfortable after two weeks of the procedure. Vision will keep improving with time and it reaches its peak between two to four months on average. Visual fluctuations are not uncommon for the first few weeks and even months sometimes, especially when staring, reading, or working on computers. Visual fluctuations keep improving with time, especially with frequent lubrication. After surgery, you will be using antibiotics and steroid anti-inflammatory drops four times a day each and lubricating drops every hour, at least for the first week, and then every few hours and as needed. Always allow five minutes between any two consecutive drops. When instilling eye drops, try not to press on the eyeball. Instead, chin up, pull on the lower lid, and instill a drop in the cul-de-sac between the eyeball and the lower lid, or directly on the eyeball. Afterwards, close your eyes for several seconds and avoid excessive blinking as it decreases eye drop absorption. The eye drops will be tapered and stopped according to your doctor's instructions, but the lubricating drops can be used as needed for several weeks to several months. Lubricating drops come in small unit doses as there are no preservatives in them. You can recap them and reuse them several times as long as you throw them the same day. Do's and Don'ts instructions include wearing transparent plastic eye shields while sleeping for the first week and avoiding eye rubbing for one month, minimizing direct water contact like splashing your eyes while washing your face or showering for one week, and avoiding swimming for four weeks. Additionally, no eye makeup should be applied till after three weeks. UV protective sunglasses should be worn outdoors when sunny for up to six months after the procedure. 
Find more educational videos and patient information material at www.drawad.com.